Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Upside Down Skyblock, where I'm playing in a normal Skyblock world where only I am upside down. A bit of an update, I expanded the tree farm, which allowed me to gather this much wood so far. I also mined off camera, so yes, I did the funny thing. Uh, don't worry about it, they're just building blocks. Uh, it'll help me in the long run. In the last episode, I mentioned I wanted to get to the jungle biome or jungle island so that we can get bamboo. This is why I mined off camera and got this much cobblestone so we don't have to worry about resources while bridging over there. Uh, nope, 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 uh-huh, no thanks. I wonder if they can actually get to me since I'm technically under a block. I'm not gonna risk it, so let's just wait for daytime. While we're waiting, I might as well gather all this wood and also mention how I'm getting wood. So this is my new strategy, I just stand on the leaves and then get, gather all four of the logs from each of these trees. It's a pretty consistent method since all the trees are the same. Hello there. Get out of here. Get, get out. Thank you. Bye, have a beautiful time. Okay, now we just look for the bamboo and I'm hoping it's in here. I don't see any bamboo. I was hoping there's a chest buried underneath, but there's nothing there either. Okay, apparently there's no bamboo in this island. So the only way to get bamboo now is by fishing. And that of course needs infinite water and a bunch of string for a fishing rod. So yeah, takes a few more steps. On the right side, we now have melon seeds, and it's a good time for me to worry about my food situation now because I've been dying for some. So I have this sealing water flow thing with a bunch of farmlands, and now I can plant the melon seeds that I got from that island. Slowly but surely, you're gonna grow all the way down there. I also found this cool little water trick thing that I can stick myself on the ceiling. I just use this water current thing and I'm not sure where it's going to be used but it's a neat thing to find out about. Oh and I might as well just start the nether portal now while I'm thinking of ways on how to approach my situations here. Anyway, I have this platform thing where the nether portal is going to be at. Okay, to light the portal, I'm gonna have a bunch of wood here, and of course a lava source beneath that. Uh, the idea is the wood will catch on fire, and we want the wood to catch on fire to the side where the portal is. So we're gonna block off these blocks right here, so only that side will catch on fire. And we don't waste any wood, by the way. Don't forget to clean up the mess while you're done. Okay, I cleared out my inventory just in case something goes wrong and I'm only gonna bring some necessary stuff. Okay, now we're in the nether. Uh, there's some gold blocks right there and... I'm hoping I can find a chest or something useful that I can use. I'm hoping there's something on this other side. Uh, no? Looks like there's nothing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we might as well secure this area. Okay, going to the nether was completely pointless and I made the portal for no reason, but at least we have one now. Apparently, there's water in the swamp island, the, the one with the mangrove in it. I forgot what its name is, but let's just go there. And there's water here. Of course, my research was correct.
Okay, that's one half of the puzzle, which is infinite water. Now the next step is to get some string. So we're climbing to this ladder to create a farm there. I'm creating this platform, which is some distance away from where I'll be stood. This is so we have enough distance for the mobs to spawn in. The idea is for this spider farm is we have an area which is less than two blocks tall that only spiders can spawn in. In this case, one and a half blocks is fine and either player can walk in it, which is sometimes nice to have when you're troubleshooting or whatever. Now we just make this a 3x3 three three area so that spiders can spawn in and have as much spawn platforms as possible. Okay, so I expanded the area a bit. Uh, I, I left one block gap because other mobs will spawn in otherwise because it's two blocks tall exactly and it's also a beautiful design because spiders will never fall through here because they're too wide now all we have to do is walk away and give them enough distance to spawn in and look at that immediately we got spiders oh um, I did not consider them falling. Uh, I guess we'll have to figure out a system for that. Okay, so I added some walls so they won't fall. Uh, alternating between walls and blocks is enough to contain them, so it's kind of like a cage they're not going to fit through. And of course, the final step is to create a fishing pool. According to the wiki, we just need a 5x3x5 five by by five area. I went with 5x3x7 five by by because why not? Okay, I made the water a little bit clearer for you guys and there you have it. A ceiling pool. Now that's all that's left to do is to, well, fish. I'm not exactly sure uh, how to <laughs> do this. Okay, I figured it out. We just have to attack it from an angle, so it's well centered. Oh my god, this is boring. And I missed that fish because I tried to record a segment where I am... Yeah. Well, this is my life now, guys. Just waiting for a bobber. Well, at least we got a fish there. A puffer fish. So helpful. Well, guys, I guess that's the boring end to this episode. Anyway, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, we ac actually accomplished a lot today. We managed to... Well, create a spider farm, which is very effective. We managed to create a farm, which sorts out my food situation. We got infinite water now. We also got the, the nether, by the way. And of course, a pool for fishing, which I'll get to. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode of Upside Down Skyblock. Thank you.